Tom's of Maine is a personal care brand well known for its use of natural ingredients. Though a recent FDA report has identified some very undesirable contents they say are in the company's products. The FDA sent a warning letter dated November 5th detailing data that suggests some of Tom's toothpastes were contaminated with bacteria, a discovery that the FDA based on reported internal testing as well as an agency inspection in May of the company's manufacturing plant in Sanford, Maine. Specifically, the FDA points to several of Tom's toothpaste formulas where they say water used for processing contains multiple types of bacteria, including those linked to infections of the blood, lungs, and eyes. The letter contains a very detailed breakdown of Tom's failures. And besides the bacteria, they report that an investigator observed a black mold-like substance at the base of the hose reel that was just a foot away from equipment that made contact with end products. This and other observations led the FDA to conclude that the company did not keep its plant in a good state of repair. The FDA notes that since water is a major ingredient in many of Tom's over-the-counter products, it is essential that the company employ a water system that is robustly designed and that Tom's effectively control, maintain, and monitor the system to ensure it consistently produces water suitable for pharmaceutical use. The company has the opportunity to respond to the issues by way of remedy. The company, owned by Colgate Palmolive since 2006, has blamed the presence of certain bacteria on a laboratory error, though the FDA rejects that contention, saying the initial investigation stated no laboratory errors were identified. Tom submitted a statement to CBS News saying, quote, We have always tested finished goods before they leave our control, and we remain fully confident in the safety and quality of the toothpaste we make. The firm added that it has engaged water specialists to evaluate our systems at Sanford, have implemented additional safeguards to ensure compliance with FDA standards, and our water testing shows no issues. CBS News said the company added that it is making capital investments to upgrade the plant's water system. I'm Anna Wells, and this is Manufacturing Now.